Welcome back to Hammer's Garage. In this video, we're going to put a roll pan on our square body truck. We're going to put Winston on a weight loss program and remove this big bulky step bumper. First thing we got to do is figure out this disaster here. We're just going to cut this. Cut. And then we're going to cut this. Cut. And then we're going to cut this. Cut. Oh, look at there. Problem solved. I guess we'll worry with that later. Let's lube these up. Let's take Senior. You're coming off or else. And get this first one. Oh, and because my eyes need more dirt and debris in them, they work better that way. It comes to an end with thunderous applause. Get off me. How heavy is this? Oh yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Let's give it a shot. We'll take this off. Need to bench press. We can do it with this. Okay. All right. Get off. Yeah, piece of cake. This thing has just got to go. Come on. It looks better already. Look at that. It's buttless. It has no butt. It's without a butt. This is our row pan. Oh, look, it came with a license plate light. Nifty. Have to take the tailgate off. Probably have to take the tailgate off. There we go. We'll just put it in the back. 28 ounces of sand filled fury. There, do that. That seems good. better that fits. We still need an adjustment on this side. More fury. You'll need to cut a small notch in the back panel for the license plate holder. Bet y'all thought I was just gonna screw it up there and leave it, huh? No, no, no. Let's get some bare metal showing here. Shiny like a new penny. Now we'll fit it, hopefully, for the last time. Well, there she is. Grinded the spot welds, or smoothed them out a little. I didn't take them all the way down. 
and then hit them with a little self etching primer. And of course I got it welded on each corner underneath where it lips on the inside. So it's on there good and solid. Yeah, Winston just lost a whole lot of junk in the trunk. Well, it's been a little bit because I had to order a few things, but I think I've got a plan for how we can blend this in a little better. You need one of those. If you don't have one, it's actually for laying tile and stuff, but it's good for saving on the knees and back. All right, we're gonna scuff this up. All right, well, now that it's all scuffed up, I have this pre-painting cleaner. I'm pretty sure any wax and grease remover, cleaner stuff will do it. And then a clean t-shirt rag. I get these in a bag at Lowe's. They're awesome. All right. Anyway. I hate spiders. We're going to... I just don't want to mess this up. I don't care about the rest of it. But you know, the trim and the tail lights, and I don't want to get a bunch of overspray on it. I noticed on some of the faded parts of the truck that underneath the blue was like a light gray. So that's what I'm going to do here because I'm hoping, you know, it'll match someday. A couple of light coats is all we're going to do here. And then I got some really neat blue. always run out right in the middle of a job. Always. It's like a right-wing conspiracy. Now that the primer's dry, I'm just going to go over it lightly with this tack cloth to get off any powder, dust, or uh, anything that might have stuck to it. This is some color matching touch-up paint that I ordered from this company called Touch-Up Direct. GMC 29WA7349 Dark Blue. I don't know. We'll see. This looks like turquoise. Or some other shade of blue that's not that shade of blue. Well, I guess we'll see. Well, that's like five coats. They also sent this can of clear coat I'm supposed to go over top of this with. So I guess we'll hit it with a few coats of this and see what we get. Should probably be wearing a mask or something. Do it the safe way, kids. Save your lungs.
Well, you can judge for yourself how well it blends. I mean, it hides it from being black. And that's really all we're after. You know, if you just give it a few hours uh, to dry and come back to it, holy smokes. It actually matches. Let me go ahead and get my battery on the charger. That went pretty well. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell when we get more projects like this going on. You'll know. we got a lot more going on with this truck. So look forward to seeing you again. And thanks for watching Hammer's Garage.